Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how we can get an object from object storage uh, with the help of uh, OCI functions and write the object to SFTP server provided we are making a call from Oracle Integration Cloud. In this video, uh, we are going to learn how we can make a call to Oracle function from OIC integration and uh, uh, put the object from SFTP server to our object storage. Here there is this operation that is a put object. Uh, if the operation is put object, what it does is it will uh, get the file from the SFTP server okay uh, that is from here in our case and uh, it will uh, upload a file to object storage here we are making a call to functions and the function in turn will make a call to object storage put object operation uh, let us first test this uh, integration then we'll walk through the code first thing what we have to modify over here is uh, we are going for this put object operation first we'll check what is there in the object storage we have uh, this txt and the png let me upload this excel file let me copy the name from here sftp file name is this in object we need to name this as this is object is uploaded from oic okay while uploading the object to object storage we'll name this as oic underscore student xls dot xls file test everything went uh, fine no errors as such uh, let me go ahead and refresh over here yeah, we can see this xls file uploaded from our sftp server via the function uh, again to highlight in order to access the object family from your function we have to create a dynamic group uh, in which you have to uh, uh, add the functions family or any function which is part of a particular compartment uh, or a bit uh, having a, a specific tag uh, you can make a, a dynamic group in my case what i have done is any function which is part of uh, learning 236 compartment i have put this under the dynamic group functions group and for that i have written the policy like uh, allow this dynamic group to manage the objects and the object family in the uh, learning 236 compartment i am here in the code for oracle uh, functions uh, the code is exactly similar to what we had seen in the case of uh, get object in the put object also uh, what we are doing is uh, we are making those of uh, operation bucket name and the file name only difference is uh, uh, we are sending those information in the header so this will be part of the uh, context parameter over here from the context we are pulling this information like the headers from the request headers and uh, we are pulling the operation bucket name and the file name okay from oracle integration where we make a call to function we have to configure this uh, rest api uh, with uh, headers as operation bucket and uh, file name as you can see over here uh, in the oracle integration while configuring i have uh, added the custom headers like operation bucket name and uh, file name and in the standard http headers i am sending the content type here the content type should be uh, application octet stream okay so uh, so this is the responsibility of oic to send the details perfectly else this will raise an exception okay saying that uh, please verify the requested uh, content type authenticate itself as a principal and it will call a function that is put object from this implementation uh, as i was saying in my previous video uh, we, we are making use of this put object uh, function over here uh, if you click on this you will get the uh, yeah, details and also uh, by clicking on this you will get a python code i have used the exactly similar thing uh, where i am uh, making use of object storage uh, client and calling the put object from that module like over here object storage client i'm passing the signer again this will be validated uh, uh, against your policies uh, you have what you have in your uh, what you have written in your tenancy for the same variable declaration over here the put object is accepting the namespace bucket name file name and the uh, content uh, if you go to this sample uh, python code over here which we oracle has provided to us Oh, so we are sending the bucket object name uh, object uh, bucket name object name and the put object to body so here i am sending the binary information like what it is shown over here operation is successful uh, then we'll uh, we'll print a message like successful put object uh, this file has been uploaded to so and so bucket uh, if something goes wrong uh, it will error out it will catch the exception over here and we'll raise the custom exception like uh, object we'll print the object status over here we, we will communicate back the error message from this exception and also we'll uh, capture the object status and communicate it back okay this is the inline if condition so once everything uh, goes fine uh, uh, i'm sending the json response back with the status as the success and the message uh, what we sent from here that is uh, this message success forget them and the file name like this uh, we can make use of uh, oracle integration cloud and uh, make use of OCI functions and communicate with object uh, storage. So this will uh, avoid us from directly communicating with the object storage from uh, Oracle integration uh, source and function will always act as a mediator between uh, OIC and uh, object storage. So from the governance point of view, we can opt for this approach as well. 
okay, instead of uh, directly communicating with object storage. So we have seen uh, put object in this video and get object in my in our previous video. If you have if you have not watched that video, please check out the video. Please do like and share this video and uh, thank you for joining.